Hi everyone, this is Simply Pam, and today I'm going to be making a card for the Paper Playtime Challenge. And the theme is thank you. This is the week of Thanksgiving, so thinking about um, being thankful. And um, so make a card for somebody that um, you want, just want to say thanks to. Um, it's being sponsored sponsored by Digital Delights by Luby Lou. They have digital stamps, and they are so cute. I really love their um, digital stamps. This time, though, I'm making a different kind of card. Um, I'm making a card that, uh, based off this sentiment, so thoughtful. It's by Scrappy Mom Stamps. It's in their the Charmed Life set, and that's how I come up with some of my um, designs. Is I find a stamp set that I like from Scrappy Moms, especially my Pink Stampers um, stamps, and then I just kind of go off of um, kind of what goes off of what. Uh, make a card around that thought. So this card I'm doing is so thoughtful and I cut out this little sewing machine from the Heritage cartridge and it actually comes out like this. It has This is just the base background but it has this little uh, fabric like it's sewing on. And what I did is I just trimmed that off um, to make a, a point right here so it looks like the needle and then I added um, the layers to it. So what I decided to do is I was going to put um, this quilt, I created this quilt with the um, one and one quarter square punch and it works perfectly to fit on a five by uh, three and three quarters. It, it is like, it's the perfect match for it. And so um, I used the Stampin' Up! Patterns Pack and they have um, the same um, colors and different designs. And so I used this um, green color and um, I just used both sides. So I stamped out twice. So I used that side and then this side. And it, I did that for each of their designs in the green color. And it worked out perfectly to make this little um, quilt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this um, X mark. It's kind of hard to see, but. Um, it's from the stamp set called Technique Tuesday Hanging by a Thread, and it basically makes it look like stitches. And they have these are all different stitching lines, and I um, thought I'd just do the X's. I thought that would be cute. Actually, now I'm thinking I might want to do this one. Um, I haven't done this one yet, so I think I will do that one. And I got this stamp um, container from um, Stamp TV. And um, you can put in your own papers. I love it. And then I added my own sentiment on here. It says borders. And that's how I've been storing most of my stamps. I have a whole bunch I still need to um, fix up. But that's what I'm going to be doing. So, so I'm just going to get this lined up to where it's perfectly even. So I don't have any weird lines. I'm using stays on brown ink so it will show up a little bit better. And I'm just going to um, actually need scratch paper. Just like okay. I'll only show you a couple and then I'll um, do the rest off stage. Off, off stage. Oh, shoot. Off camera. So I'm going to get my head in here for a little bit. Sorry. And so it looks like stitching. Oh, that turned out really cute. I like this one. And it starts off um, where it leaves off, so it should be pretty easy to line up. blurry but all right so I'm gonna do that on the um this one coming across and then all the ones going this way and then also on the edges I think I'll try that okay so I decided not to do the edges just because I didn't want to be um too messy but I think they turned out really cute it does look like perfect stitching lines I'm so glad I chose that stamp set stamp set so I'm going to attach it to this blue paper So that's the front of my card, and then I cut out, I just hand cut, well I didn't hand cut, I used my trimmer, but I kind of guessed the size. That's a 
in the best way. So I have this so thoughtful. I'm going to use the stays on with it. And this. This looks great about uh, these blocks. You can use the other side <laughs> while this is still on. I wanted to leave that on there because I wanted to make sure I cleaned it. So this will be, well, maybe I'll just take it off so it's easier for me to see. So cute. Alright, so this is going to go here and that's going to go in the corner. And I'm using dimensionals on this. I wanted to use a wobble because I want to use wobbles on everything, but um, I didn't want to. It, the sewing machine is too thin to do the wobble on, so fortunately I couldn't, but that's okay. Dimensionals work perfectly fine. And I think it actually look this it doesn't need a wobble a sewing machine, so put this in the corner. And then. So I'm gonna put this on a little Crooked. And I did originally cut this um, the thread out in blue because I was going to be making a blue quilt, but I ended up using doing the screen because I really like the the light green better. And so what I just did since I knew I was going to do the thread in brown, I just got my marker and colored in the light blue with brown ink. So um, on the inside, I'll do my what I normally do a frame and then the white part. And I'll throw. The, that in on the inside to write my message and this is my um, little thank you card um, so they're, they're so thoughtful I think this turned out really cute I really like it so what are you thankful for make sure you make a little thank you card for someone this week post it up on um, paper tray or paper playtime challenge sorry and um, you'll be eligible to receive a gift a receipt or gift card to um, digital delights websites for some uh, free digi, ima uh, digi images. Sorry, I'm not able to talk tonight. <laughs> Anyways, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.